Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're approaching the end here of section 2.3. And what we're doing in this, in, in the last two videos, is we're learning how to do something called decomposition, okay? So far in this section, we've composed functions. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at an answer, and we're going to figure out what two functions were composed to get that answer. So the way those directions will appear, find two functions, f of x and g of x, such that h of x is f composed with g. In other words, the way we got h was we took function g, we started with g, and we put it into f, and we composed them to come up with h. So what we're looking for here is we're looking for two functions. We're looking for f of x, and we're looking for g of x. So that when we compose them, we would get h of x. Well, here's the clue to this type of problem. Look what this tells me. h of x is f composed with g of x. So that means I started with g. And then I went to f. So when you're answering your problem, you start with function g. And let me give you a clue. The way the problems are set up in 1105, a very easy way to find g of x, once you know that's the function you're starting with, a very easy way to find g of x is to just look inside the parens. And when you look inside the parens, here you see 7 plus 2x. 7 plus 2x. And that will be my function g of x. So look inside the parens to get the function you're starting with. Now, what's left over? Well, what does, what does function f do? Well, it takes whatever, okay, and raises it to the eighth power. It takes the input and raises it to the eighth power. Well, the way you say that in math, you call the input generically x. It takes x and raises it to the eighth power. And, of course, we could always test that we did this correctly. If I took this and I put it in the place of this x, I would come up with this. So, those are my two answers to this function. If I, took, if I created this f of x and this g of x and I composed them in the order, f composed with g of x, I would end up with h of x. Let's look over here. Okay, let me write this a little bit better. h of x is really a rational function. We have 1 on the top, and we have x minus 5 raised to the fourth power on the bottom. Now we have the same directions. h of x was created by taking f and composing it with g, starting with g of x. So what I'm looking for here are two functions. I'm looking for f of x, and I'm looking for g of x. And I'm starting with g of x because it's, the, it's not in front, it's the one in the back. So I'm starting with this one. And, it, and the, use the same reasoning I just taught you on the first question. If you're looking for g of x, look inside parens. Well, inside parens here, we have x minus 5. So that is our g of x. And then what would f of x be? Well, basically, keep thinking of this as like the post office box or the input, okay? f of x would be what? Well, you'd have to have a 1 on the top. That doesn't change, so f of x has to have a 1 on the top. And then whatever raised to the fourth power. Input raised to the fourth power. And the way we say that generically is we just say x to the fourth. Input to the fourth. So again, what I've taught you in class, this x right here is really not an x. This x is a placeholder for anything you're feeding this function. And if you wanted to test this out, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, if you wanted to test it out, it would work very well. If you put x minus 5 in the place of this, you would come up with 1 over x minus 5 all raised to the fourth. So, we are done. 
and that is called decomposition. <clears throat> One of the reasons you learn how to decompose, in addition to making your brains work and learning, you know, a little more higher level math, is in future courses for those of you taking calculus, the real calculus or the business calculus, you're going to learn something down the road called the chain rule for differentiation. And to fully understand how that rule works, you need to know how to decompose functions. So, we're done with this video. We only have one more to go for 2-3.